Here's my uh, AT&T Pre-3 and here's a comparison to my original Pre. Let's uh, so you see the size difference there. And if you slide it out, see the difference there. And there's my touchpad. Farewell, Steve Jobs. Rest in peace. Uh, is Facebook already open? It's pretty snappy. And here's my album. And this is on Wi-Fi right now. I don't have an AT&T uh, SIM right now. So. And then you can minimize your card. Here's YouTube already running. And uh, here's a browser. It's pretty quick. So let's go to Amazon. Yep. Go to the mobile Amazon. So kill it by swiping up. And oh, here's a cool thing. Watch this. This is the only thing it does right now, but this is already paired. Did you see that? Now watch the pre three. Look at that. So whatever the active card is right now, you can do touch to share. So if I switch out of this, let's see. This is uh, in gadget right here. <clears throat> so let me minimize this. Try again. Oops. So the example they gave was like if you need to go somewhere you already have Google Maps pulled up on the touchpad for example you could just tap to share and then um, just get it on your pre-3 and go. So this is pretty cool. It's very fast. I mean compared to my old pre that I used to like trudge along this is uh, out of the box. It doesn't have a SIM card so I can't make any calls or do any uh, SMS or anything but uh, it's in a dev mode right now. And here's a camera app. I didn't do macro before but and didn't have autofocus but now it does it's focusing right now actually it's pretty cool you can get pretty close and then so it's focusing right now and then yep pre-3 here's the phone app can't really call but uh and all the cards and this is uh, true with any webOS uh, 2.0 2 and above but if you have a uh, here, um, cards you could stack them you could do this in the touchpad too so you could just do this stack it you could do this stack it do that stack it and the fun thing is with webOS is the cards so when you're done you know we gotta do is swipe up to minimize. Go to the cards view. Swipe up to kill the app. Kill. Boom, 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 boom. Done. And here's pre three. It's really solid. And the keyboard's really nice too. Oh, here's just type. A lot of people don't know about this, but um, to begin your search with anything, I mean, uh, I don't have anything really saved, but uh, if I type in YouTube, for example. Then it finds my YouTube app, but if I click on enter, like right here on Google, it goes to Google. So I just started from the minimize view. All I had to do is just start typing. And you could do this with uh, phone contacts too. If I wanted to call uh, Dave, for example, I just type in D A V E, and if there's Dave in the uh, contacts, it'll give you an option to select that. You know, if I Google, then I could Google here, I could IMDb from it, Wiki from it. It's pretty cool. So that's WebOS Pre-3, and here's the touchpad. Let me wake it up. So I hope they keep coming out with uh, more devices. Uh, WebOS gets sold to someone, or HP just starts releasing more. So, and that's it.